press bell button for video alerts. Hi viewers, once again Jay Balakrishna before you to share something new in this uh, video. Now you all have been watching all our videos, our videos have been different in approaching the subject. Fine, now coming to the point, in this video we are going to learn about the uses of uh, being, B-E-I-N-G. This is one of the most troublesome words for non-native speakers of English language. Uh, this person comes from a family called B family. This is a very powerful family in English language and this family consists of uh, eight members. Am, is, are. In our previous videos we have discussed the uses of am, is, are, how to make sentences with them and how they are going to help us. And we have was and were. We have discussed the uses of was and were also. Now am is our indicate present tense. I mean you can use them to talk about present and this is past. Now the detailed uses, please see our earlier videos on am is are and was were. Now you have three more members, be, been and being. B plus ing is equal to being form. Now these three people do not have any fixed specific tense. These three people present, these two people past. But these three persons do not have any fixed permanent tense of their own. Then what is their job? Their job is to give technical support to am, is, are, was and were, wherever it is necessary. Fine. Now in this video, we are going to discuss how to use being in making sentences. And that sentence is very important for us in our day-to-day -day life. Being an Indian, I respect my country. Being an American, I love my country. Being a teacher, you should be punctual. Being a doctor, he is very good at detecting the problem of his patients. Being a child, he is naughty. This is the way we make sentences. Now let us discuss how being is used to make sentences. Now just see these two sentences. I am an Indian. A. Now B. I respect my country. These two sentences are grammatically correct. I do not have any problem with them. I am an Indian. I respect my country. Now there is one more way of talking these two sentences in one sentence. Let us see how it happens. A plus B. Now I am an Indian. I have told you just now about the B family where there are eight members. Am, is, are, was and were, be, been and being. Now we are going to replace him with being. And this person is already existing. These two people are the same. Then I don't need even this person. Now you read the sentence. Being an Indian, comma, comma, what does a comma indicate? You have to take a pause there, a brief pause. Being an Indian, I respect my country. Now if you write the sentence, it will be like this. Being an Indian, comma I respect my country isn't it simple it's very simple now I have explained you what are the circumstances what is the background information of being an Indian how it enters the sentence and why it enters the sentence these are the circumstances under such circumstances 
being enters the sentence and we can make sentence with being. Now in this way we can make large number of own sentences like this. Being a girl, she feels shy. Being a soldier, he is very brave. Being the senior most professor, he has lot of knowledge in chemistry. Being the most experienced professor, he has lot of knowledge of chemistry. Being the most experienced and the senior most professor, he guides all his junior teachers. Being a film star, he is physically fit. Being a model, she is slim, young and beautiful. Being a news reader, you have to take care of your pronunciation. Being a journalist, he goes to different places every day. Being a photographer, he has sound knowledge of cameras. Being an editor, he can make your article very brief and precise. Being a proofreader, he corrected most of my mistakes. This is the way of framing the sentences. Now what else can I do with this? Now being an Indian, this is one part. The second part is open for all the changes. Being an Indian, I respect my country. Being an Indian, I don't respect my country. Being an Indian, do you respect your country? Being an Indian, don't you respect your country? Being an Indian, why do you respect some other country? Being an Indian, why don't you respect your country? Like this, you can make positive form, negative form, auxiliary questions and WH questions. Now sometimes you may need to make some changes here also. Then NOT should come here. Do not put NOT here. It should be here. Not being good at maths, not being good at maths, he often scores less marks in it. What does it mean? He is weak in mathematics, he is not good at mathematics, therefore he often scores less marks in it. Not being good at maths, he scores less marks in it. Not being good at English language, he develops tension whenever he tries to speak in English language. Not being good at studies, he has been showing interest in doing some business. Not being good at photography, he is not able to make or take good photographs. Not being a regular student, he is not the favorite student of the teachers. Not being punctual to the classes, you are not eligible to write the examination. So if you want to use it negatively, this is the place to keep not. So being a lover of English language, you all have been watching our videos. And being good at the subject, we have been trying our best to share as much as possible with you in case of English language. Being good at the subject, you can teach many other people. Being good at the subject, you can share your knowledge with others. So I hope we have made it very clear how to use being to frame sentences. So in, in your day-to-day -day life, you are making so many sentences and this is one such important sentence which will help you to talk about people with two qualities. The common thing that you find in all these sentences is one same person, two qualities. I am an Indian, it's about me, I respect my country, it's about me. So two qualities about the same person, I am an Indian, I respect my country. Being an Indian, I respect my country. I am a teacher, I am an English teacher, I teach English language. Being an English teacher, I teach English. I am a scientist, I invent medicines. Being a scientist, I invent medicines. I am a rationalist, I do not believe in superstitions. Being a rationalist, I am the rationalist. Being a rationalist, I do not believe in superstitions. So remember, both the qualities 
both the features should be about the same person. So this is one same person, feature one, an Indian, feature two, he respects his country. So this point has to be remembered by you. So I hope it's comfortable for you now how to use being. So why late then? Keep making sentences with being and I hope this sentence also will be user friendly and you will find it very convenient because without your knowledge, it has to enter your language in the flow. So when you are talking to somebody seriously in a preoccupied way, this should just enter your stream of language, stream of sentences without your active involvement. So that happens only when you make large number of examples, record them and listen to them. Unless you do this, you, you are not going to develop the command of sentence formation skills. So please, please, please stop that old, outdated, boring way of doing exercises, opening the grammar books, doing the exercises. No, stop that. That's, that's a useless way of learning communication skills. Learn the concept. Make your, your own examples. Do not depend on any grammar book. Make your own examples in large number, 25, 50, 75, 100 not less than 25, minimum 25 examples. Listen to them as many times as possible. Then within no time, you will be making sentences like this. Have a great time. That's all we have in this video. Keep watching our videos to learn English language in the simplest way. This is Jay Balakrishna signing off. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.